Shad here with Speed Axe, and today we're going to uncrate the Scorpion XO Covert. The Scorpion XO Covert is essentially three helmets in one. It is a pseudo full face helmet. By that I mean this mask is not going to protect you in an impact. It actually pops right off and is just meant to look cool and maybe protect you from some wind, rocks, debris on the road, stuff like that. But it is not. Uh, structural, uh, but it does give you that full face look. It, the mask, once it's off, you do have a three quarter helmet, and then you can detach this piece in the back, giving you a half shell configuration. So, kind of a three helmet in one. They weren't the first people to do this kind of Bane style muzzle helmet. The Bell Rogues out there, and a few others have followed suit, but this one does look pretty mean. Again, this is the Covert, not to be confused with the newer Covert X. We have a video on the Covert X as well. You can look in the description for that. But this is the OG. The price has come down now that it's been out for a while to just over $200, so like $215. It's 3.25 pounds, so three and a quarter pounds in the fully configured uh, f configuration with the mask on it. So relatively lightweight, two shell sizes, and the original covert you see here in front of me runs from extra small all the way up to 3X, whereas the newer covert X is only small through 2X. So if you got a bigger head, then you'll want to go with the original covert. Uh, again, polycarbonate shell, DOT rated in just that half shell configuration. Fits true to size, go by the Scorpion sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, we ship this guy for free to you. And if the fit isn't perfect, we'll pay to get it back, get you a different size or just refund. Risk-free shopping at speedaddicts.com. That's why you should shop for your next helmet with us. Let's dive in and look at some of the more features on the Covert. Okay, the first feature is, like I said before, is that it looks cool. You can get safer, quieter, uh, more element uh, resistant helmets. This thing has a lot of places for air to get in and not necessarily a lot of ways to stop that. So cold weather, rain, um, if you're planning on smashing your face, not the helmet for, for you. If you want a half shell protection scenario with a little added element um, protection from the elements and you want to look cool, the Covert is an awesome option. This, um, and it does have the drop down um, eye protection and you can get a bunch of different um, shields for this. So that's their speed visor here. And inside the package, they're going to include a clear option. Smoke comes installed if you want clear. They have that there for night riding. But they sell a full variety of flavors, iridium, blue, purple, silver, chrome, all that sort of stuff. So you can customize that. Uh, additionally, the mask that you see here comes off, like I said, we're gonna show you that in a second. And they make all sorts of different designs for the masks now, so you can uh, mix that up. They have bandanas, they have mustaches, all sorts of interesting stuff, so you can mix and match. This is the matte black covert. Scorpion's matte finish is exceptional. I wanna call that out, because I've been handling this helmet a lot today, and you cannot see my fingerprints uh, very much on this at all. That is not true for a lot of other matte finish helmets. Not all matte finish helmets are created equal. Scorpion does it best, and look at that. You can't see any of the smudges. You know, that's the number one complaint on matte helmets. Typically, we hear is that it shows every smudge, and they're hard to clean. Uh, Scorpion's matte finishes are excellent. Let's look at ventilation real quick before we start taking this helmet apart. Ventilation is limited. You have this forehead vent. It is switchable, so just real easy. That's going to circulate air inside of the helmet. There is no exhaust, so... This is pretty standard in three quarter or half shell helmets. Ventilation is somewhat limited because they're expecting you to get air through the front of the helmet. And if you do need air, you can flip this up, get a little bit more breeze. You can run sunglasses or goggles with this, but you know they're building in that quick speed visor there for you. You can remove this though and pull it out if you want to save weight. You don't want extra pieces moving around. Uh, let's show you how the mask comes off. So if you do want extra airflow, you want a different riding experience, you're just going to Hit this button right here on the side. You're gonna pull that out. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. This thing has neodymium magnets that help guide it back into place. You can see those on the inside, those metal pieces. And so it wants to pull itself right back in. So real easy switches. You can do that on the fly. If you have somewhere to store this on your bike, maybe you get off the highway, you're cruising through town, you want everybody to see your pretty face, you can just pop this right off or you want more airflow. Let's look at this mask real quick so you can see um, 
exactly what it's made of. It's kind of a rubberized material. It's really flexy. And like I said, it might stop some debris, bugs, wind on the road, but it is not going to help you in a crash. Just want to call that out. If you want a full face helmet um, with impact protection in the front of it, this is not for you. Uh, and like I said, you can buy all sorts of different flavors of these at Speed Addicts to customize your covert. That is your mask. Now let's look at this in three quarters configurations. All right, let's flip this guy over and show you that full half shell configuration. Uh, most guys, like I said, don't wear it in this configuration because as a half shell helmet, the EPS liner stands up a bit and uh, doesn't give you the nicest profile. And again, it's all about looking cool, right? So how you do this, there's a switch to release this bottom piece and you're gonna press that out. And then I jam my finger in that seam right there and really kind of pull. When they're new out of the box, they are a bit tight. So there it goes. Okay, so that is out of the way. And then up in the front, there are hooks. So you gotta pull this backwards. And there's what that bottom piece looks like. And now you got a half shell, okay? Cool looking half shell, but just a little bit of a high profile one. Uh, double D ring closure here. And this is the configuration. If you wanna remove the visor, it's easier if you have the mask out of the way, you just tug on those and can pull them out of the way. Uh, let's show you the liner. The comfort liner is Scorpion's quick wick, wicking antimicrobial uh, comfort liner, it's soft to the touch. Uh, and it does have some mesh in here so that the air that's circulating actually gets onto your scalp, keeping you cool. So you can remove that and wash that. See those e those channels in that EPS foam? This hard EPS foam inside of the helmet is actually what absorbs energy and an impact. And it's cool when people channel it or when the manufacturer will channel it or port it because that means the air that's blowing through your ventilation system actually makes it onto your head. So this is what the, go the guts of the covert looks like here. We'll clip this back into place. So, Scorpion Covert, 215 bucks. You're getting a full five-year warranty. You're looking cool. And uh, like I said, not the best helmet for all riding conditions, but when the weather's good and, uh, and you're cruising and you wanna be noticed, this Covert is a unique offering. Head over to speedx.com to pick up your Covert. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest parts and gear from Speed Addicts. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.